Football. A lot of people say it's just a game. But for our team, it's a part of who we are. Brilliant! That is schoolboy's own stuff. Absolutely stunning. But no surprise in that. It's another one for his portfolio. Only football can make you feel like this. This is a story about underdogs, about the champions of the moment, us, and how a handful of great kids and two legendary coaches came together to challenge for the ultimate prize. This is our 2020 Champions Cup. It was a team full of heart and passion. It was built on friendships and talent, with all of us adding our part to the collective. Right from the start, Coach Leo had us training our mindset, training to a certain style, to think, to move and prepare ourselves, to each fill a special role in the team. Oh, and we could hit a lot of crossbars. We began with a run of friendly games against some great opponents. First up was an invitation to the famous Juventus Academy. slowly coming together. Old and new players beginning to trust each other and the ball beginning to move faster and faster. We had a pair of star strikers, a midfield full of skill and confidence, and it was all backed up by one of the strongest defensive lineups ever seen in this age division. FDP was emerging as a team unlike any before it. If we try to believe in anything greater than a miracle, it wouldn't be this difficult. If we, we try to be a negative bull, yeah, we could be taking control. Yeah. If we, we all worked hard in our lead up. We battled with Venus under 11s took down Magic's under 11s and then went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best of the best from Palm Beach.
Make it be taking control Make it go Make it be taking control Make it go Make it be taking control
It was a great way to prepare for one of the top tournaments in the country and we knew we were ready. The day of the tournament quickly came and we drew the top opponent for the first game out of the blocks. Some said that Olympic were the favourites, even unbeatable, but it was us that struck first. Back and forth it went until at the final whistle. We had fallen short by a single goal and Olympic took the deserved win. Oscar and Leo brought us in and we all knew we had to reset. We needed to rise and move forward. Next we faced Gisa, the boys from way up north. They tried to turn it up, but we'd never let them in, finding the net five times. It was great to hear the crowd loudly cheering from the stands. The 
goals were coming in thick and fast and it only fueled our confidence. Brisbane City came at us next and brought their A game. For a few moments, they looked like they might have a chance, but our shape was too good and our team was too hungry. It was a tight win, but we knew we had control of the game for the victory. Champions Cup is the toughest tournament there is, and the longest too. Not just the four days of games, but also it's been running as an event for almost 25 years. Winning or losing at Champions Cup can make or break teams. It's also the hardest one to win, and it's the one that reveals the true champions in Queensland. Goal after goal poured into the Juventus net and nothing they did could stop us. Had the FDP team peaked too early? Or did we still have another level left to take it up? Time would tell, as now we were headed towards finals. Second place in our group stage, feeling like we could conquer the world. We could hear the chatter around the grounds. All eyes were on us, and if we beat Palm Beach in our quarters, we would again be facing Brisbane Olympic in the semi-final. And whoever won that would have one hand already on the cup.
started to find the net again. And it wasn't long before there were five goals buried in the shark's net, sinking their dreams of making the grand final. All focus had now turned to Olympic. They were the favourites to win, and they'd done it to us before. Hey lads, hey, listen, listen to me. Them. Listen to me. We have semi-final now. Yeah? Right now. Let's focus on coming out soon. No, no, okay? no, no, no. Think about individual, individual challenges, yeah? Everyone wins their own individual challenge. Yeah? Intensity. Keep that intensity. Intensity. Yeah. intensity. Same intensity that we just played. Okay? okay. Well done. Well done. Watching Olympic warm up, watching them prepare. They move like us. They are precise and disciplined. They are the ultimate team to face. It was on from the first whistle and they came out firing all of their guns at us. We also knew we could sting this team. We knew what it took to score against them, that if we kept them out, we would eventually find their net. Pressure can be a good thing. Sometimes it brings out the best in a team, and sometimes it can really hurt a team. We kept the pressure on and never let it off. We kept pushing forward and somehow the pressure we brought to this team eventually found a crack. It was a handball. A moment of madness in an otherwise epic game that brought down the boys in red and white. We'd won it, and the grand final and the cup were within striking distance. Up in the stands, we could hear our mates shouting. The Gold Coast Rangers were cheering us on, but it was going to be different tomorrow. Tomorrow, they'd be standing in front of us and the Rangers would be the last hurdle we'd have to face if we wanted to lift the trophy.
to be a goal at one end or the other. And this was the cop end who saw it and were thrilled by it. And the manager was thrilled. It gave me no sweeter one than this. They're the team that shattered Olympics dreams in the semifinals. An assembly boasting some of the finest youth footballers in the nation, who've stunned opponents with attacking ferocity and unbreakable defense in every game so far. Managed by the revered coaching combo of Leo and Oscar Langoni. This is the team we know you've all been waiting to see. And today, the stage is set for an epic contest as they take on the mighty Rangers for the ultimate prize in football. The 2020 Champions Cup. Introducing our grand final challengers from Queensland, Australia, Football de Primera.
We done it. The strike mission was complete and FDP had won the day. The Rangers fought hard and played well. They really were fierce opponents. What a moment and what a way to win against our friends and the crowd on their feet. Well trained team. Yeah. Just a, a pleasure to watch. So let's welcome and congratulate our winners, FDP. Woo! Well done, Johnny! Well done. They say a lot of people only see the end result and the tip of the iceberg. What I see below is the journey. Underneath the wins and the losses, behind all the goals and saves, it was the journey that built this FDP team. The team of champions. First of all, I'd like to thank I'm gonna choose anyone in the final. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to all the parents, okay, for putting up for us, especially those that come down from Brisbane every day. Okay, yeah. Thank you very much, big fun to you guys.